Hello, I'm Andrew Plum. I'm a senior lecturer in medical imaging and a consultant radiologist at University College Hospital. I'm going to talk today about uh, head and neck cancer imaging, which is a common problem in the UK and increasing in incidence. One of the difficulties with treating head and neck cancer is knowing, first of all, how advanced the primary tumour itself is, and second of all, how far it's spread. At the moment, we try and solve this problem by doing various cross-sectional imaging techniques, mainly magnetic resonance imaging, computer tomography, and ultrasound scanning. However, all of these have got limitations in assessment of head and neck cancer. It's just a very difficult area of the body to image. One of the problems that we have is there's insufficient spatial resolution in depicting the edges of the tumour and also insufficient detail of the lymph nodes that the tumour spreads to to tell whether or not a given node is involved. We'd like to address that by using new techniques called photoacoustic tomography. This has got some inherent advantages when it comes to imaging cancers, particularly being able to depict the vasculature in great detail. This means that we hope that by applying photoacoustic tomography to patients with cancer, we can stage their primary tumour and their nodal disease much more accurately and therefore give them appropriate treatment. We have done some preliminary work using the instrument on ex vivo lymph nodes that have been taken from surgical specimens being resected for other reasons and shown that the instrument really gives us excellent images of, of lymph nodes in that setting. But what we will need to do now is develop the technology further so that we can take it into patients in clinical practice. Now I'm going to hand over to Professor Paul Beard who will give you a few more details of what the project will actually entail. My name is Paul Beard. I lead the photoacoustic imaging group within the Department of Medical Physics and Biomedical Engineering at UCL. Uh, we've been developing a, a new approach to imaging soft tissue structure and function called photoacoustic tomography. Uh, and this involves some interesting physics. It involves delivering short pulses of laser light to tissue uh, using light in the near infrared part of the spectrum uh, where it penetrates deeply and the light gets absorbed uh, and produces broadband ultrasound waves which then propagate to the surface where they're detected by an array of ultrasound receivers. And from those signals one can form a three-dimensional image of the internal tissue structure and function. Fundamental advantage of the technique is that it relies on optical contrast. Um, depends on the absorbing properties of the tissue, so one can get very detailed, high-resolution, three-dimensional maps of blood vessels. And this makes it particularly well suited to cancer imaging applications uh, for studying tumour development and the proliferation of blood vessels and their response to treatment. So to date, most uh, photoacoustic imaging uh, research has been done in the laboratory or applied to preclinical contexts. The aim of this project is to translate the technology from the laboratory uh, into a clinical environment for studying head and neck cancers. It will involve developing uh, aspects of the instrumentation, developing the imaging probe uh, that's placed on the surface of the skin, working with optical fibres and lasers to develop the, the delivery system uh, and the ultrasound detectors used to receive the photoacoustic waves. There will also be opportunities to work on the image processing and analysis aspects. A significant component of the project will be devoted to working with clinicians to acquiring in vivo data and analysing those in order to advance the technology. UCL provides an excellent environment for this work. The Photoacoustic Imaging Group is one of the largest worldwide and, and has, has pioneered the technique from the outset um, and we have very strong collaborations with the hospital.